Police have released two photos of a man outside the store where a clerk was shot dead last month. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. I'm Darren Kramer. That deadly shooting happened in the middle of the day at the E&M Smoke Shop on Ferry Street two weeks ago. News Ace Bob Wilson following the very latest on the story. He's live from the New Haven Police Department tonight with more. Bob? Yeah, police going all out, pulling out all the stops. And they're asking now for the public's help. When you see this photo, there are two surveillance photos of this man. They say right now they only want to talk to him and question him about maybe he saw something that happened there, but they're trying to figure out who killed that store clerk owner. Have you seen him? Okay, no, honey, no. No, no, no. no. New Haven police releasing these surveillance photos. They want you to take a good, hard look at them. Have you seen this guy? I have not seen that guy. Police say they want to talk to this man about the murder of 21-year-old Mahana Jawad. Right now, investigators do not believe it was a robbery, but the Jawad was targeted. They made it clear right from the start they only want to talk to this man in the photo. He is not being called a suspect. Meanwhile, candles flicker in Jawad's memory in front of the convenience store where he was shot in broad daylight. I'm surprised at that. Just walking out and shooting somebody in broad daylight, that's very surprising. Police detectives and investigators have been working this case very hard. They say they're trying to find the killer of Jawad because a broad daylight shooting, especially at 1.36 in the afternoon, that's a very dangerous person, especially when the motive wasn't robbery. Police are releasing the surveillance video and the pictures in hopes that somebody will recognize him and turn him in. That was incredible, you know. In yeah. the daytime, it's dangerous area, so you're taking care of your family and your kids. And if you want to turn his identity into police, they're saying you can call the police department, you can even call the anonymous tip line. They're just looking for any help from the public. I'm Bob Wills reporting live in New Haven, News 8.